Hello, this is Heather with Change Path Crochet. In this video, I'd like to show you how to make the cord stitch. And the cord stitch is called that because it looks like you have a cord like this built into your piece. So you can see it's a little 3D, looks like it's wrapped around. So I'm not showing you how to make a cord. I'm just showing you how to make a cord stitch that looks like this. You can have any number of stitches and it's a two row repeat. So let me show you how to make the first row. I'm going to chain one and turn because it's very similar to a single crochet. And just like single crochet, I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop. So I have two and yarn over and pull through two. So the first stitch is like a single crochet. And then we're going to add another loop onto our hook. And the way we do that is we insert the hook back through that top loop. So let me just show you this top loop on your single crochet. We want to insert the hook back through that one and only that one, keeping the first loop on the hook. We're going to yarn over and then pull through just that top loop. So we have two loops on our hook. And that's the first stitch. So we're going to keep these two loops on the hook when we start the next stitch. So insert the hook and pull up a loop. So you have three on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So now you can see we have two loops on top of this next stitch. So the first stitch of the row is going to look just like a regular single crochet with just one loop on top. And then all the rest will have two loops on top. So to complete this, we want to insert our hook back through two loops this time, the two loops on top yarn over and pull through, keeping that other loop still on the hook. So we have two now. And then do that again, insert the hook and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, put the hook back through the top two loops and pull through a loop only through those top two loops, keeping that first loop on the hook. And that's how we keep two loops on top. back through, pull up a loop. So we do that all the way across. And you can see I'm kind of keeping the hook close. I don't want to pull this way out. I want to try to keep it as close as possible so it doesn't have too loose of a loop there. And sometimes it helps to help it. <laughs> back through, pull up a loop, all the way across. And then the last stitch, we're going to go through all three and then stop. We don't need to add another loop at the end here. So that is the first row and you can see it looks like single crochet with an extra loop on top. So the next row is going to be a single crochet row in the back loops only. So because we added that extra loop, our back loops, there's two back loops and two front loops, and we want to go through the two back loops. So I'm going to insert my hook through those two back loops, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two. Go through those back two loops and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And we keep doing that all the way across. And you can see what you're left with. Whoop, make sure you go through two. <laughs> what you're left with is that cord stitch effect. And the last stitch, or which is the first from the previous row, only has the one loop. So you only go through the one back loop on that last stitch. And there you go. That's how you do the cord stitch. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.